name. Sometimes I go with the uh, the name that's offered when I go click on random. I've got to admit I don't think I can pronounce that, so I'm going to random again. Dark, dark. Yeah, I think we'll go with dark. And I can't pronounce the ship name, so again we will uh, go until we can get Panak, Panok. Panok. Yeah, we'll go with that. That that's a, a, a acceptable. I think. I hope it's acceptable to you guys at home as well. Right, engage. So this is now generating the character and starting it off. Right. We're going to proceed with the tutorial, but uh, there's a note here saying that uh, we need to do some things with the traits because they said change the system since at some point, I don't know when, uh, click here to continue. So we need to add some stuff in. Let's get rid of the... Uh, so what, what particular features does uh, this Klingon have? So I'm going to go with peak health, more toxic damage resist and bonus hit points, more strength. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with pistol. No, I'm not going to go with rifle training. And I'm going to make the guys I'm gonna make the guy sure footed which gives here protection from knockback and makes it harder for um, an attack or something to root him in place uh, so in other words less so if a surprise action is less likely to uh, stun him um, and knockback obviously is um, blast from an explosion or a hit or something like that not literally knocking him back making him lose space uh, loses his uh, his footing and lose perhaps his ability to do action right space so there's a whole variety of stuff here from across the board uh, uh, the board of whether you're a, a science officer or an engineer say astrophysicist here gives better sensors and gives the ability for the uh, ship to make more particle damage to do with uh, uh, deflector shields and, and, and use of deflector dishes in interesting manners. I'm going to go with a guy who's actually into cannons uh, and he's been looking at Accuracy in particular, so uh, with regard to making his uh, the fire do more damage to, to uh, on on the sh uh. and I'm also going to put in here. What else shall I put in here? Um, some of these are more you you can mix and match in, in this you don't have to just because your character is a uh, a, a, a technical te character doesn't mean to say that you can't have a whole lot of techie um, uh, engineering type um, I'm actually going to make uh, this guy seem innocuous in the sense of uh, uh, He's seen as not uh, the wrong political party, uh, wrong racial grouping, and as such, the people aren't paying him as much attention as perhaps they should do. Even though the slots here, because the character is of the level he is, there is he has no reputation basically, uh, so there's nothing for any of the. Th even though there are slots here. 
um, and as he levels up uh, these slots become available uh, and uh, yeah right so welcome back because the Klingon uh, recruitment is active you may not skip the tutorial with a new Klingon Empire character if it wasn't the Klingon recruitment process if you have already done a Klingon you can immediately skip through the uh, Klingon um, characters initial tutorial storyline and move straight into the, the real storyline or if you want to do some of the non-story activities that we're not going to be spending so much time on with this particular character. Anyway, enough of this. Proceed with the tutorial. Can people hear what I'm charge of the night watch. You are in command of the ship, while Captain Chernick and First Officer Taran are off duty. Your shift nears its end. Third Officer Lieutenant Kagan would like to have a word with you before you leave the bridge. Okay. I'm not going to make comment about the fact that a second officer and a third officer are sharing shifts together, but um, that's another story. Uh, I would have thought that uh, the, the third officer would be perhaps with either the first officer or the captain uh, on their ships, but it's who's to say? Who's to say? Right, on we go. Disable help pop-ups. Unfortunately, that you. doesn't kill them all. So I'm being told I need to go talk to Lieutenant Kadatan there. And as you can see, he's dressed in the more modern Klingon uniform, where I'm going to say that the captain has been forcing me to dress in this old way. Uh, to put me in my place, let alone that I'm second officer. Right. Let's talk. The end of the shift is near, at last. I have updated the duty logs. Not that there was a lot to report. Still, we have our duties. You will need to approve the logs before the captain arrives. Unless you are fond of cleaning up after his tag. Very well, Lieutenant. The logs are up on my station now. Use it to transfer them into the record of battle. <laughs> battle. The only battle we face is against the forces of boredom. We are warriors of the Empire. We should be finding glory against Starfleet in honorable combat, not flying through empty space. Remember your place, Lieutenant. That will be all. So, over here to the, the logs. Thankfully, we don't have to read them. Though in the story, my character has. So the logs are approved. I hope the logs didn't bore you too much. I almost fell asleep writing them. If you'd like something more entertaining, I've made some adjustments to the standard disruptor training program on the holodeck. I think you'll find them interesting. Anything would be better than shooting drones. I will try it. Captain on the bridge! Alright. Report, greet the captain. Nook Nesh! I see you and Kagan kept my ship from blowing up during your watch. Kalos would be proud. I relieve you. Return in six hours, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. Transfer command. And away I go. Off to the turbo lift. I'm going to go to the holodeck and try to see what Kagan has been up to. That and it won't give me any other options. Right. 
as you can see, the cat, the it's old school uh, characters and so on, the movements old school. However, there is more of a third person um, uh, way of using the uh, more combat orientated way of look using it. So I'm actually going to shift into that now. And you can see immediately a sight and moving the mouse m uh, moves the sight and the way that the character is pointing as opposed to using just the the, uh, the, uh, the WASD. Right, so program holodeck with the Kigans program. The holodeck is initialized. Do not enter. The training program is ready. You may enter now. Right, they don't exactly do much, do they? These updated, but then they're supposed to be better. Th it's better than what was there beforehand. Yeah, not exactly hard. It's a while since I spent too much time playing it, which is part of the reason why I thought I would actually do this. Warning! Your attention is required at this console. Okay, so you can see the console glowing there. I'm still in tactical mode and I still have my um, uh, what, uh, disruptor drawn, so I'm actually going to switch out of tactical where I'll now I've holstered my. So answer the com. Warrior, I have a proposition for you. Who is this? Why should I listen to you? Like you, I am a servant of the Empire. I must exercise caution. Because our enemies are everywhere. See great potential in you. I wish to work with you for the benefit of the Empire. A likely story from someone cloaked in shadows. Wise warriors go to battle knowing themselves and their opponents well. I can help you with both of these. You are an officer with simple duties now, but that will soon change. I can provide you with weapons, tools, and targets. You say this will change? What do you know? Your captain is involved in questionable activities. Do not take my word for it. You will soon see for yourself. Beneath this console you will find an encrypted data pad. Use it to communicate with me. I will provide you with special equipment and information for missions vital to the security of the Klingon Empire. You realize I will repay any treachery with blood. I know. I count upon your honor. Or at least upon your violence. That is why I have chosen to work with you. You will see in time that this is a chance both for your own glory and to secure the safety of the Empire. Take the encrypted communicator. Right, so I'm now a Klingon a recruit and to be honest I could uh, jump out if I wasn't looking at doing the storyline I could jump out of the uh, tutorial uh, and and take the character on a, a different way uh, but I'm actually wanting to and, and gain much of the benefits I want to stick with the story right you are now a Klingon recruit but um, and we'll I don't think we need to worry too much about this. I've also got here a Bachlach, uh, which is, a, if you like, a Klingon two-handed sword. Lovely things. Um, uh, 
let's get rid of this this is some of the uh, this is the receiver that I've just received and each of these have got uh, rewards behind that if I when I earn I get the reward and that's what this is all telling me about right so we'll get rid of that we have a f something up here and this is from the developers basically saying thank you very much we now have a, another costume that you could wear because you're using our client as opposed to uh, Steam or uh, Epic um, yeah that's a story behind that but we won't go into that now and I'm just going to delete that because yeah I'm not really interested and there's no real information there so tutorial go to the crew quarters use the turbo lift turbo lift to crew quarters into the corridor the crew quarters are opposite in and there is my rack sleep in your rack to receive your prisoner. Acknowledged. We're beaming the piece of Bakhtok to you now. I recommend you muzzle him. The sound of his voice is irritating. If he irritates me, I will feed him to my favorite talk piece by piece. <laughs> Knowledge, Commander. Prepare for battle. Today is a good day to die. Get up, warrior. I am ready to serve with honor for the Empire. Steal yourself, crewman. I will do what must be done. With honor. Here is the situation. We took custody of a Federation prisoner from the IKS Segma. Almost immediately after transport, a Starfleet cruiser showed up and attacked. We took some severe damage, but we were able to get our shields up before they could beam over. They've launched shuttles and have boarded the ships on the lower decks. Our security teams are tied up all over the ship, so I need your help securing the lower deck. Grab a rifle from the armory locker and then make your way to the lower decks. I don't know how they were able to enter our shuttle bay, so check the bodies for anything that can give us a clue as to how they were able to board us. One or two of them might be carrying something useful. Yes, sir. So, armory locker. There's the armory locker near the door, of course. Get equipment. Right, so I have pulse. Right, oh, I'm actually going to put that there. Uh, so, we've got the backlash, the sword, and we've got the, disrupt the, the uh, rifle. There, let's change to B. And we're now going to turbo lift to get down to the lower decks to start clearing them. Right, 
so that's the stuff that I'm to loot basically and it's an encoded uh, federation message just what first officer Doran asked me to look for them. Oh, I was hoping to do some hand-to-hand, -hand, but... Uh Right, what we got here? Decode Federation message. So we're using the ship's computer to try and work out what we just... Please input message for decryption. Crypt the message. This is Captain Jurlik. Captain Jurlik, I have to prisoner you seek. And I do not wish to be captured or killed. I will permit your boarding shuttles to land on my ship in exchange for my release once you have the prisoner. My crew must never learn of this. So arm your boarding parties and expect resistance once you board. You recovered that message from the Federation borders? My suspicions about our Pataka the captain have been confirmed. I've been seeing signs of Jerlik's cowardice and incompetence for months now. But finally, this is the proof I need to challenge him. I see that you are near the brig. I want you to talk to the Federation prisoner there. Find out why he is so valuable. And then report back directly to me. Kapla! Kapla! Whoa! The prisoner is still here. Starfleet's rescue attempt has failed. Right, so they beamed in. That was pretty good then. So, brick guard. Talk to Something on your mind, second officer? Hang on. How did he know I was second officer? You do know your captain's a traitor, right? And now two of you know. That's a start. Tell me, does Duran know about Jurlek's dishonor as well? Well then, I'm guessing you'll be first officer before too long. Can't imagine Duran letting something like that slide. How do you know so much about our crew, Starfleet? It's my business to know things. If I were you, I'd check in with soon-to-be Captain Duran. She'll probably want to talk about your promotion. I'm afraid First Officer Duran is indisposed. Permanently. Report to the bridge at once. Unless you wish to join her in Stovokar. Well, I was half right. Congratulations on your promotion, First Officer. Captain has dishonored himself. You are the next ranking officer. It is your right to challenge him to a duel. To the death. If you defeat him, the ship is yours. Go. You know what must be done. Right. Okay. We know what's coming next. I am dark. I take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but stand for the crew. Oh, 
You stand for the truth, eh? You think you can kill me and take my command? Theron was a better warrior than you, and she now sings in Stovacom. You will fare no better, Welp. Think. We fight a war we cannot win. Not even Tukuzma could defeat the Federation. And they were far weaker then. Why should we die for Jimpok's folly? So you're a coward. You dishonor yourself. Young fool! I plan on living a long and prosperous life. I give you one last chance. Stand down! Or your corpse will be cooling on the deck next to the rams. What say you? I say you belong in Grethor and I will send you there. As you wish. I've killed one hero today. Why not litter the deck with the body of another? Draw your weapon and try to die well, fool. Understand, I want this ba vessel battle ready soon, Lieutenant. The Starfleet vessels that attacked us are still in the area, and the Segpa is moving to engage them in battle. There is glory to be found there. What are your orders, Captain? Right. There aren't really any options here. It is complete mission. Congratulations, Warrior. Just received a promotion there. Take command, and the story plays on. Thank you very much for the follow, uh, select Captain, Telgari. There is no sign of the Sigpa of Scans. We do not know if the Feds destroyed her, but I suggest we not worry about that just yet. Engines and shields are operational, but we need iridium to facilitate immediate repairs to other systems, and our iridium stores were lost in the ambush. Fortunately, there are some asteroids in the vicinity that might have what we need. Continue. Right. Your speed using e. Let's your find speed some iridium. So, our first bridge officer crew, uh, crew member so we're going to go along and hell full stop captain i recommend we use the scanners to see if this contains any iridium scan for iridium no iridium on the scanners but that nearby asteroid field may have what we need right go there and we'll actually use full impulse which is about to tell us about I suspect captain I recommend using full impulse to reach the asteroid field it's amazing how it now works <laughs> hell full stop captain I stopped the ship this time 
But from now on, you'll be responsible for controlling the speed of the ship. Scan for Iridium. We have found several asteroids that contain Iridium, Captain. Weapons are back online. Lashka! We found some Iridium! Alright. It's amazing how the tutorial takes you through and you just happen to find just what we're after in the uh, Captain I'm picking up a Starfleet distress signal seems that a frigate looking for us took a hit in a nearby asteroid field they are disabled they won't be out of action for long I suggest we put an end to their hunt while we can I think that's a very good office, uh, idea, first of all. Set, uh, lay in a course. What are your orders, Captain? Prepare for battle. Right. Can't cloak, so I'm just going to go in. Guns blazing. Okay, so. of the ships that are jamming us, however. We should eliminate them so we can continue our search for the Segpa. It will be a tough fight, but the crew hungers for battle. I think we're up for the challenge. Aye, I think we are too. Let's prepare for battle. Your orders, Captain? Ready the cloaking device. So, there they are. What the people were about to go and challenge? Three, f dis uh, fr uh, three frigates of the same uh, class. So we'll use. Right, I'm gonna get in a little bit closer and hit them with what hopefully is overwhelming firepower before I decloak. Oh, uh, decloak and then hit them. Right, so we're a lot closer, we're less likely to miss. Enemy ships destroyed. Jamming effect neutralized. We are clear to resume our search for the Seg Park, Captain. Your orders? Resume scans for Klingon vessels immediately. Scan for the Seg Park. This is Captain Kagdar of the IKS Seg Park. Where is Captain Jurlek? Jurek is dead. I challenge the coward for command of the Pagnog and uh, emerge victorious. Ha! <laughs> Finally! That miserable Topa has been a blight for far too long. Congratulations! May you bring glory to your ship and your house. Speaking of which, do you want to join our fight against this Federation Patak? My long-range comms are down. So I cannot notify High Command of the situation. Kupla, our disruptors thirst for more Federation holes to lance. Communications officer, make a Barnaby report to Command. Give them our coordinates. Welcome for the Tell follow. Them we are moving Thank you. To assist Welcome the to the uh, channel. Hope you enjoyed our Star Trek Online playthrough. Um, Helm, set course for the Segpa battle station. Going to cloak because. Captain, 
The Starfleet vessel is hailing us. Do you wish to respond? Let them eat static. All hands to battle stations. You're making a huge mistake. USS Musashi. So. While we cloak, our weapons are flying. Bring on defense force. Reinforcements. <laughs> is now complete but there's bits and pieces still to happen yep contact captain Craigdor we are going to stay here while repairs are underway but you need to get that Federation prisoner to Kronos immediately high command is expecting him you probably want to space him by now I know I did but that would be a career ending move for you just get him to Kronos. Okay. Congratulations, warrior. 